Now it's Friday, or as we call it Brew Day, a day where we get to find out more about local brews in town. And this week's Brew Day is sponsored by Bismarck Brewing. I check in with Jordan about their latest release. Hey everybody, we are at Bismarck Brewing, joined by the Bionic Brewer, Jordan. Hey Jordan. Hi. All right, so we've got something cool set out on the table. Tell me about the brew we're featuring this week. Yeah, so this is Central Time, which we've talked about before, but yeah, now we're actually canning it. So it's our first beer we've canned so far. You can find it at most of the local liquor stores now, and uh, hopefully we'll be getting out towards Dickinson, that area, pretty soon, too. Hey, this is really exciting news. We've been talking about it for a yeah. couple months now. Tell me a little bit about the wrap and um, who, you know, who designed it, where'd you guys took uh, inspiration? Yeah, so my, my business partner, Don, um, also owns an embroidery business. And so, you know, he works with a lot of designers, and he worked with their main designer to design this one. And it was based off of, like, uh, picture at a restaurant or something, <laughs> something like that. But I yeah. uh, can't remember exactly where he found the idea, but yeah, he showed me the proof and I was like, I love it. Cause you know, it's a Midwest IPA, so. Central Time Midwest IPA. For someone who's never had an IPA, how would you describe it to them? Well, so it's gonna be fairly bitter. It's uh, 92 IBUs and you know, it's 7.9% ABV. So it's a little bit more of a heavy hitter than, you know, a lighter beer would be, but it still has, it has a nice bitterness, but it also still has a nice juicy quality to it. It's still a pretty dry finish, so it's not super malty and heavy feeling. Okay, I'm gonna ask a really dumb question because I don't drink beer often. So IBU, and then you said BBU, or am I saying that completely wrong? Uh, IBU, yeah. <laughs> okay, what does that stand for? Uh, international Bittering Units. Okay. So it's a measurement of basically a relative scale of how bitter it's gonna be. Um, but you know, every person's palate's different too, so. It's just sort of a guideline to start with. The higher it is, you know, the more better it's gonna be. And yeah, I mean, people just kinda, they'll find kind of their range on there, what they like. Is it a scale from one to 100? Uh, it goes past 100, but actually, you can only tell the difference up to 100. Huh. After 100, you won't be able to tell any more difference. You'll be saturated, so. Yeah, that's kind of, in, in beer, that's kind of the important scale. Hey, we're learning a lot. This is fitting because it's brew day. All right, Jordan, well, we love that you are officially canning your beers and you can find it uh, off sale, right? Yes. Where can we find it again? So far, I know that Cashwise has it because um, we distribute through McQuaid. So okay. pretty much most of the local liquor stores will get it eventually. Uh, they just picked it up last week. So I know uh, Captain Jack South is getting it tomorrow, I believe. Um, and we have it here too as well. So you can buy it in the tap room. Look out for Cranberry Blood Orange, which will be our next canning. Um, yeah, McQuaid's will be picking that up as soon as we can get it canned. Uh, <laughs> trying to find time. So. Okay, well, super exciting stuff happening at Bismarck Brewing. Tasty beers. Stop on down. Jordan, thank you so much. Thank you. And this week's Brew Day is sponsored by Bismarck Brewing. If you'd like to sample this brew for yourself, go to Bismarck Brewing. They're located inside Aleworks at 1100 Canada Avenue, Suite 1 in Bismarck, or check out your local liquor store. Yeah, I mean, that brew and the artwork on that wrapping looks really great. Very fitting.